lost 100 pounds mm -hmm. in two around years. Around that, yeah. Around that? Around, 100 yeah. pounds in two years. And then you said it wasn't even really about the weight. So no. what was it about? It was about my anxiety mainly. I had the most terrifying anxiety attacks after I left my marriage. They'd paralyzed me completely. Mm -hmm and made me so confused because I wouldn't be able to have any control over my body, but I, could, I knew that I, that, I, that I was aware of it all happening. It was like I was still very much there while my whole body was just like on another planet, it felt like, you know? And I've always worked out a bit, you know, a couple of times a week for my back. Not very hard, but you know, because uh -huh. um, I've had a bad back since I was a teenager. And I started to notice, A, how much I trusted my trainer and his like, presence when mm -hmm. I was feeling so lost but also that I didn't have any anxiety when I was with him at the gym so then I, I picked it up every day and then I had nothing else to do and I think it was just it became my time me having a plan every day when I had no plans I had no idea what each day was going to bring for me but me knowing that oh okay at 9am I'm going to go to the gym okay great well that gives me some discipline okay 1 p.m i'm gonna go for a hike you know having these sort of pins in my day mm -hmm. helped me keep myself together so you together. weren't even starting out trying to lose weight no not at all i wasn't bothered about that at all but in that process of having you know lost all of that weight i definitely really contributed towards me getting my mind right you know it and did. giving me the absolutely it sharpened everything without a shadow of a doubt like it gave me real purpose. Interesting because, you know, I, I've been through this a few times myself and I remember the first time I dropped, you know, a lot of weight, I think it was like 67 pounds. People were really upset and had stuff to say and actually in many ways felt like I had abandoned mm -hmm. them or something. Yeah. And lots of people are talking about your weight yeah. and all in your business about it. Yeah. I want to know what has the experience of losing this been like for you and also people's reaction to it? I'm not shocked or even phased by it because my body has been objectified my entire career. Mm. I'm either too big, I'm either too small, like, you know, I'm either hot or I'm either not, like, whatever. I never looked up to anyone because of their body. You know, I never admired anyone because they had the same hair color as me or the same style as me or, you know, whatever. So or were the same weight as you. Never, never, ever, ever. And when you were heavier, you were fine. I was and I was body positive then and I'm body positive now. But it's not my job to validate how people feel about their bodies. Whew. And I feel bad that, you know, it's made anyone feel horrible about themselves. But I, that's not my job. And I, I can't, I'm trying to sort my own life out. You know, I can't, <laughs> add, I can't add another worry and another thing to try and nail. I can't, like, you okay. know, and... Um, I got that. I love that. Yeah. I love that. And, I you know, my, my weight might fluctuate. Now that I can't work out as much and I'm on set all day, you know, I'm, you know, I'm eating. But I don't care if I put on weight. I don't care if I lose it again. Like, it's not about that. As long as, like, my muscle memory doesn't go for when I'm lifting my weights, which is like my favorite place to be lifting weights i love it okay what, i love it what's the highest weight you I can press it. now well at the moment my back's been bad but last summer when i was at my i was at my peak of being able to like i feel like i could have been in the olympics i remember saying to my trainers all the time i'm gonna get i'm gonna get olympic gold medal next <laughs> i was like you know um it was we were getting to like on a deadlift we were getting up to like 160 170 yeah I love it. But it started out at 10 pounds. It started at 10 pounds when I first started, started lifting. I am, wow. Oh no, I'm, a, like, I'm an athlete. I'm actually an athlete. Like, <laughs> I'm not even boasting. Even the proportions of my body, I should have been an athlete. If only at school, hadn't discovered boys and someone had told me to go and do a bit more PE. Wow, 160, wow. Yeah, I love it. But I have to eat quite a lot of food to lift the weights I lift. So you eat? I eat. Oh, what yeah. What you want to eat? I had Chinese last night. Okay. Yeah, we found the best McDonald's recently. It's <laughs> piping hot every time. <laughs> no, I do. I love it. I just, I'm not, I ain't got much of a sweet tooth, though. Yeah, I don't either. Yeah. Yeah. I'd rather a sandwich. Deadlifting 160, this girl. Yeah. She's an athlete. 
I'm also a very good boxer. I've got a left hook that could kill you. Really? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm a very good I'd boxer. I'd be scared. <laughs> <laughs>